Hey guys, long time no see. It's been uh, a little busy around here lately and there's a few things that I want to show you guys today. Me and Raiden, little dude, we're just hanging out today. He's, he's working with me. I'm actually just doing some video editing. Hey Raiden, say hello buddy. He's six months old now, believe it? Man, they grow fast. So, <laughs> he's hanging out with me and my dog, obviously my faithful dog is always here. Hey Roxy, say hi Roxy. Good dog. Hi, right, baby. Okay, so I gotta uh, text my sister. Okay, so my studio now is like, it's in working order. It's like 90% done. Well, maybe 80 something percent done. But the painting is all done. I got a new shelf in. I'm gonna show you guys that. It's really exciting. I've got my editing station set up. So I've got my screen, I got my 27 inch monitor, my MacBook Pro. And uh, my studio monitors are not working. I got a new DAC for it, so or for them, so they actually work. I don't have to put on headphones anymore, which is so nice. And so I'm gonna give you guys a little, a little tour. So do you guys remember this shelf here? That's always been here. All the knives have been pulled off, so it really frees up the shelf for things like camera gear and uh, just you know boxes of, of gear that I have. Um, and uh, let's see here. I just make sure I don't want to step on anything. Most of the stuff. Okay, so I got a box of the uh, stuff that just came in. This box is a box of knives uh, that have just arrived. It's a set of like basically every Shun chef knife that have just arrived. And so I'm really excited about that. Um, Cutlery more have just sent that to me. So I will um, do the semi unboxing in this video for you, show you what's in it. And okay, so here is the really exciting stuff right here. This here is my shelf for all of my knives. And I'll actually walk you guys through what they are right over here uh, in a second here. So I've got my filming station set up, cleaned out, walls are all painted, corners are all painted. It's looking really clean. And I'm going with all white scheme because it, uh, it's just much more brighter and uh, much easier for me to film with. The wood background was really nice, but it just got too dark and it was absorbing so much light. I had to crank the lights way up for me to actually film. That wasn't working, it was getting too hot. Uh, but now that fall is here, it's okay, but still, the white background's a lot easier to, to work with. I can hang more things back there and it won't be messy. Uh, the wood just got a little messy. I've got my camera here, <clears throat> and there's my AC unit, which I love, 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 love. And this here is just a sound blanket. This actually was um, bought for something else, for another project, but because I have nothing here, um, this wall will actually become my knife wall at one point. I'm still working on a design to actually have all my like, you know, two, three hundred knives, <laughs> how they're actually gonna line up there. I'm working on that. Oh, hey buddy, you're okay. So until that's actually there, I'm just leaving this blanket up. It absorbs some sounds and it's off the ground, which is the important thing. My bike is still here. Okay, so now here is what was taking so much of my time and stress because I had to figure out how to uh, pull everything off the ground. Um, my knives were just sitting on the ground for a while, like this whole area on the ground. Literally, I had no space to walk because everything was just on the ground. So knives, I had knives, cutting boards, um, knife blocks, whetstones, like hundreds of things on the ground, <laughs> which wasn't working. So now I've got it cleaned up. Let me show you where everything is. So there's one, two, three, four. There are four shelves that I've got set up. There's actually a fifth shelf here, but there's nothing up there right now. So. This shelf here is what I call my unbox ready for demo. So all of these knives, they're here, I think there are like four or five dozen knives here that have been unboxed in previous videos. And now they're waiting for me to sharpen and to do uh, sharpening tutorials on and to do um, knife demos, cut demos. I know buddy, I know. Daddy's talking too much, right? You're not used to it. Okay, and then, so that's, you know, that's these knives. Right here, it's my knife block set. So any all the knives that have been unboxed that have knife blocks uh, or that are in knife sets, they go here. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, eight sets of Wusthofs. Um, basically every set of Wusthof chef uh, complete set are here. And so they're just there right now. Um, I have more, so as, as my Japanese knives come in and, and block sets, they actually will go here as well. This shelf down here, now this is the very, very busy shelf that I'll come, I'll come down and show you guys. So it's actually my to-do list, okay? So this is what it means. Um, all of these, 
these knives. I got, uh, I think two dozen or, yeah, two dozen, three dozen, actually about three dozen knives here. They need to be unboxed. They actually haven't even touched, been touched yet. They're brand new. They've just even either arrived within the last few weeks or last month, and I just haven't had the time to open them up yet. They're here. Um, these are all my sharpening stones and stropping blocks, uh, stropping compound, and uh, yeah, mostly just stones on this side. So I have another two dozen, three dozen sharpening stones here that I have yet to actually open. You guys have seen a lot of them, so there's two heroes um, you guys have seen. I just haven't had a chance to use all of them yet. So the ones that I have not actually used and demoed, they're still in these boxes. So I've got about four, five dozen items that still need to be opened and actually used. I've got my Shopton sharpening pond there, which I am really excited to actually use, hopefully within a week or two. I'm just so booked up right now that it's uh, hard for me to actually use a lot of things that I want here. Um, <clears throat> down here, let's see here. Ugh. It's a little difficult to move around with the baby sometimes. Hey buddy. Okay, so here I've got a whole box of knives that have, um, have recently arrived. One of these boxes actually have all my magnetic strips that uh, I'm gonna be using to build my wall, my knife wall with. So I've got like 15 strips there, which I'll show you guys at some point. I think it's one of these boxes, I hope so. Uh, I have all my knife repairs, restoration knives in one of these boxes as well. So I've got about five or six knives, I think six knives that um, are waiting to get actually like grounded down and, and refixed and regrounded and sharpened and uh, going to a new home, hopefully soon. Okay, then I've got a, uh, another Wusthof, brand new Wusthof uh, knife block that looks really nice. I'm really excited to open that. I don't know what these are. Uh, <laughs> I think these are tower fern handles. Um, oh my goodness, it's so bad when I forget things. And I think these two boxes, oh, uh, these are my, my Mercers. I got like two or three dozen Mercers in there. And I have another two or three dozen knives that are kind of like loose knives that are that were on display but i had to put them away because of the whole storage shuffle uh reshuffling so all in all i don't know how many dozens of knives or hundreds of knives i have at this point i think i have over 200. um and this shelf here i'm still clean i'm working on this one this one i will have to throw away or well, not throw away i'm gonna donate half of the tools and stuff that i have here um they're just kind of random things a lot of it is um, a lot of bike stuff that I don't use anymore, so I'll donate that to either some a local charity um, or to some cycling friends that I have. That is a studio that's going on right now. That's what I, that's what I have been working on so hard uh, these last few, really last two months. Um, I haven't had time to just work on it all, like just full time, because life, you know, life happens, life gets in the way. Let me grab a seat right now. Hey, buddy, look at that. You see yourself? Hey, show your pretty face. Show your cute face. Oh, little handsome dude. Oh, Roxy has just decided to join me under the table. <laughs> She's the best dog. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Yeah, okay. So now I'm gonna show you guys a preview. I wouldn't call it an unboxing. Uh, people would just uh, write me and just tell me I've got all this I'll get so much hate mail from people saying that was not an unboxing. Let me fix the camera for you. Okay. Okay, so this is not an unboxing. This is kind of a preview of what's happening here in the studio. Or on my channel, at least. Oh, oh, it's so nice. So nice and light in here and bright. So. Alright. So, you guys ready? I've got... Uh, I've got a box of stuff here. I'm show you guys what they are. It's gonna be really exciting, really fun stuff. So my first knife here is a Shum Dual Core Kuritsuke. So a Shum knife that is that's going to be used very nicely. Thank you very much. I've got a Shum Konzo eight inch chef knife. And, ooh, oh, look at this. I'm not gonna open any of these because I don't have time. And I don't want to open a knife holding my child, <laughs> so uh, I am very responsible when it comes to children's safety. Look at this beautiful knife. This is the Miyabi, I, believe, I think it's called the Evolution. Uh, for, I think this is the Evolution. That's beautiful. Look how thick this is. Like, look how tall that knife is. 
That's gorgeous. Very exciting there. So, Miyabi back in the house. And we have the Miyabi, I believe this is the Kaizen. So this is more the Kyoto profile, not very tall. Which is still very nice. Okay. All right, and we have the entire collection of Enzo knives. This is exciting. So, uh, yeah, I think the Enzo collection has got 14 knives. So all 14 of the block set is here or are here. So really exciting. I mean, everything from their Sentokus to their Gyotos to their uh, Utilia knives. Ah, ah. <laughs> I love you, buddy. Um, yeah, so there, <clears throat> they are here. So we got uh, one, two, three, four, two more Enzo. That's six Enzo knives. Oh, some shoes. Let's see what we got here. The Premier Shun Premier Chef knife. Yeah. Oh, the Hero. Now this is a knife that I'm really excited to open because this here, it's their newest line of knives. And it is just stunning, it is beautiful. And I cannot wait to open this thing. Um, really excited here. So we'll put this over here. Ooh, we got two more shoons. Yeah. So we have the Shoon Classic 8 inch chef knife. Very nice. And the Pro, this is a Deba. So everyone's been asking about Debas. I finally have one here. I've re uh, been requesting Debas for a while. And a lot of folks want me to sharpen Debas. And so here we go. We got a Shun Deva. And uh, yeah, so that's a, that's a fun knife to have. Okay, so what we got here? Ooh, check this out. I was not expecting this. Tojiro, Tojiro shears. Whoa, that's cool. I had no idea that was actually gonna be included. That's so nice. Um, I have been using the Vustov uh, stainless shears recently uh, that came with one of my, my knife sets and having real quality professional shears makes a huge difference in the kitchen. So if you guys are looking to get a set of shears, <laughs> do it. Do not wait. And we have three more Enzos here. I don't know what they are. They're small boxes, um, but they're also uh, they're actually all even. They're actually different color as well. So I'm curious to see what they are. Are they knives? I won't. I don't want to take the knife, take them out, but I just want to see what it is. Um, oh yeah. Ooh. You guys will have to wait to see what this is. I'm not going to show you yet. Okay. And we have a looks like a knife block. Oh. And so. An Enzo knife block. Yeah. So all these knives that you see here can go into this block. Um, though I'm not a huge fan of blocks, this actually is a pretty nice block because it's got one, two, three, four, four slots that are actually really wide. Uh, wide enough for chef knives, which is nice. So I will have that set up at one point and I will have all these knives opened up and ready to go as well. Uh, so yeah, we got one, two, three, four, five, six shoons, which I am so excited, especially for the the hero knife. The hero is just so beautiful, and the uh, the hero and the uh, Deva, I'm actually really excited about. Ah, uh, you talking, buddy? You're talking so much these days. Uh. <laughs> He's the best, huh? Uh, yeah. So I'm sorry, my voice sounds a little a little raspy. Um, I was, I've been shooting some videos today and whenever I shoot a video and I try to talk after, my voice kind of sounds, sounds like this. And uh, I've, I've, I've mentioned before, I've got a really weak voice box. And so for me, uh, making YouTube videos is actually really difficult because I don't like to talk. Uh, I actually grew up not talking a whole lot. I was actually very quiet as a child and as a teenager. So for me, I'm actually learning how to talk at this point. Uh, and that sounds really weird, but for me, Talking was never second nature, and it was not something that was, uh, di it didn't come natural. Um, but so now, as an adult, I am learning to talk more. Uh, and now that I have a YouTube channel that requires me to talk, I talk a lot now. I still don't enjoy it, <clears throat> but uh, yeah. 
So that is uh, kind of the recent update here on my channel. Um, what else has been happening that you guys might want to hear about? Mm, yeah, that's really it. I mean, I've, I've got a lot of things going on. Uh, my wife and I uh, are, uh, are just really excited. We're really excited about what's happening with my channel. It's been really cool. Uh, I just want to thank you guys. Um, really, thank you and from the Trend Clan, from my family, uh, for to all my subscribers who have been there for us and uh, it's been so nice to get to know some of you and uh, to have the support of people that I may never meet and uh, to have peep and to also um, to have support from people that I have actually become friends with on YouTube has been really cool uh, so thank you for that I really just really want to show you guys my appreciation and um, yeah so a lot of really exciting things happening with the channel uh, a lot of new partners are coming up are coming on board uh, I should rephrase that, not a lot. I'm actually refraining myself from bringing on uh, more partners just because I have, uh, I want to really focus on what I, what I have going on. Um, you know, I just really want to uh, grow what I have instead of just keep taking on new review samples and whatever else out there. Um, so there's been a lot of companies been reaching out to me. Uh, I was, as I've mentioned to you guys before, at this point, I literally get an email from a vendor um, every day at this point, uh, which has been really amazing. Um, 90, like 90%, 99% of the vendors that have reached out, I have actually turned down. Um, most of them are knife companies that sell on Amazon, which is, you know, very respectable. I have no issues with that. Um, but for me, I've, I'm getting to the point where I need to just, I want to focus on what I have. I've got so much product already. I can't just take any more, I can't keep taking on more products and you know projects um, <laughs> you know so that, yeah so that's that um, <clears throat> but yeah I got a whole really exciting series coming out I'm doing diamond DMTs I got every single DMT diamond stone here and they're gonna go against uh, the Atoma whetstones um, I've got a lot of strapping compound I'm making a whole lot of strapping compound uh, videos so that's really exciting and a lot of you guys have been asking about hunting knives and uh, so I will make an attempt to do some hunting knives and as well as some sharp uh, shaving razors. My last uh, Gillette razor is dying. So it, <clears throat> I've been using it now for about a month and a half, two months and it's getting to the point where it's starting to hurt when I shave. I'm not buying any new razors so that I will use and sharpen the straight razors that I have recently purchased like a couple months back. So. Purposefully, I am I'm forcing myself to, to start using my straight razors here in the shop and in my home. So, goodbye Gillette, you've been wonderful, but I'm gonna start getting into my, uh, my straight razors and uh, sharpening my own razors. <clears throat> and I think you guys will enjoy that series as well. Oh, what else? So summer's coming to, well, summer's ending or ended. Yeah, fall's been really nice so far. Uh, LA is still kind of warm, it's in the 80s right now. Um, next week, it's gonna be all in the 90s, which is so crazy. Um, <laughs> I hate hot weather, but I live here in LA. Uh, mm. What else is here? Yeah, that is it for this update. I mean, there's so many things that I wanna tell you guys, uh, but I'll, I'll break it up for other videos. I'll save it for other videos. Uh, I got lots of comparison videos coming out. You guys have been so patient and so great with your feedback. So thank you for that. Uh, it's been, it's really helpful for me to actually to hear what you guys want me to compare in terms of whetstones and knives. It makes it easier for me to to actually produce videos that way when you guys actually give me feedback. All right, I think this is it. Raiden, you ready to say goodbye, buddy? You want to say goodbye? Oh, oh, look at those cheeks. You got the best cheeks, man. Best cheeks. <laughs> Alright guys, thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hey, you like hanging out with me in the studio? It's great having you. You keep me company. I don't feel like I'm talking to myself anymore. And you're a little busy right now, huh? Mm -hmm. Whoa! Okay.